What's up guys? Happy Thursday. It is April 1st, April Fool's Day. I uh, want to hear about your April Fool's jokes. If anybody um, had any good uh, pranks out there, my dad was always a big April Fool's guy. He would always uh, do some really funny, uh, messed up stuff to the family on a April Fool's. So it's, uh, it's uh, always a good day. Um, I haven't done anything today for April Fool's, but let me know if you guys have. Um, what is up, Lisa? What is up, Sant Santino? Uh, we got Rachie, or is that Rachel? Um, Mrs. Lana Hardwick, what's up, guys? So if you guys are new to my Instagram lives, I, I, I come up here every Thursday around five o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time, uh, just kind of talking about real estate. If you don't know who I am, I am a luxury broker out here out of um, Beverly Hills, and I sell luxury real estate. been doing it for the last 15 years, and I'm just here to have a chat, a answer any questions, uh, talk about the market. Um, so let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll let you know what's going on in my um, this last week, I just got a new listing today. I'm, I'm excited. It should get signed here in the next couple hours. It is a beautiful um, townhouse, two bedroom, three bath townhouse, about 2,300 square feet in Santa Monica. We're gonna be asking uh, just under 2.5 million. So I'm excited to share that in the next couple weeks. That's also from an expired. So if you guys aren't on um, you know, calling expired or canceled, I highly recommend doing that. Um, I've been chasing that lead for the last couple months. I also working on a, a beautiful contemporary modern house in Venice uh, for uh, the mid fives. Um, hoping to get that that listing soon and share it with you as well. Um, we are reducing my San Marino listing. We're on the market for five nine eight eight. We're going to reduce it down to five million four ninety five, so a half a million dollar price reduction, which is great, much needed. Um, that's after a month of being on the market, so we're acting quickly, um, just to uh, make sure that we're we are priced correctly. So let me know if you guys have any questions about the market. What's up, Carl? Um, what's up, Rosemary? What's up, Lisa? Let me know where you guys are coming from. I know Rosemary is coming from New York, New York realtor. I wish. We could call expireds here in New York. I know that's a bummer, um, but there's if if nobody's calling expireds, there's other ways around it. Can you send a text to expireds? Um, can you send a voice note to expireds? Um, can you door knock expireds? Um, can you find them on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook? If you can't call, the, people are still going after expireds, right? Just because you you can't call doesn't mean you can't contact them. Um, nope to what? Are you saying no, you, you, you cannot contact him at all? I sent letters. Yeah. Letters work, but you have to send multiple letters, right? You know, one or two letters isn't, isn't going to work. You got to send a lot of letters. Let me just reposition this a little bit. Rev Partners, what is up? All right. So it's been a long week. I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, been I've been really consistent this week and the last two weeks on waking up after the first snooze, right? So I have the alarm for 4.45 a.m. It snoozes eight minutes later. And in February and early March, I was snoozing two or three times and then getting up around 5.10, 5.15 instead of 4.53. Um, and then, you know, hitting the gym up and then start reading by six. And I've been, you know, I've, I've noticed that if I snooze more than once, I start my day off late and then the, my rest of the day is screwed up. I know that sounds weird, but if I allow my brain to be late on the first thing I do in the morning, the rest of the day, I tend to be lax on everything else. Oh, I'll start the meeting. Uh, you know, I'll do this a little bit later. And so everything else starts to be late. So I just realized that and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can be more consistent with, with staying on time. Um, uh, not with, you know, important things like listing appointments and showings, but more with other things like, you know, getting on, you know, on my calls at, at nine o'clock sharp or having my morning meetings at eight o'clock sharp or, you know, starting my morning routine on time. So anyway, I've been struggling with that, but the last two weeks have been really good. I wrote a note to myself which says, 
hashtag discipline. It says, wake up after my first snooze. It says, start reading by six o'clock. And it says, make my calls from nine to 12 in the morning. Um, and that is, has been really nice to me. So I read that every night before I go to bed. And it's been great because I, I go to sleep with the, with the intention to be on time starting from the morning. Um, so let me see what you guys are saying here. I sent letters, no IG or Facebook or any type of calling or texting. Oh man, that's a bummer. So you can only send letters? Can you door knock? Maybe you can door knock. Uh, what's up, PNW Commercial Photography? How you doing? Uh, Cortland from Portland. What's up, Cortland? Uh, invest in Panama. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Uh, Nuno Miguel CX. What's up? Don't hit the snooze. Get up and do it. I agree. You know, it's it's early, so it's like you know, it's four forty-five in the morning. It's dark. And it's, just, it's like my body's just still not used to it. Even after doing it for two years, my body is still not used to um, getting up in the dark. It's just it's such a weird, I don't know, it's a weird thing. Uh, thanks, Invest X, uh, X Panama. Um, what, do you, uh, what do you sell in Panama? Are you, are you selling condos? Are you selling to um, expats? Uh, Ingrid, Fish, Ingrid Fisher, realtor, what is up? 3.30 in the morning, I love that. That is awesome. What time do you go to bed at? I need my seven hours of sleep. So, or more like seven and, and a half hours of sleep. I usually get seven hours, 15 minutes. Sometimes I, I, I take a little cat nap in, in the middle of the day. So like today I took a little nap for half an hour and I could have slept for three hours. I was exhausted. Um, but it's been a good day. Got a new listing, got a big price reduction. Um, got an appointment that I've been working on for a while. So I booked an appointment, it was, a, it was a productive day, right? Whenever I could book an appointment, get a listing, get a price reduction, that's a, that's a phenomenal day. Since we're doing a big price reduction, we're gonna take it off the market for five days and then relaunch after Easter. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, 3.30 to 8.30, yeah, that's great. So, so you're, you're, you're still getting plenty of sleep. Uh, what is that, uh, four, yeah, you're getting seven hours of sleep, which is great. 3.30 sounds good. Do you have any kids? I mean, I feel like if you're a parent, I don't have any kids, but I feel like if you're a parent, getting up early is great because then you can have alone time to do you know things where you're not distracted. Uh, we are working on tokenized real estate, small tells and residential pro uh, projects. That's awesome. What, is, what, do you, what do you mean by tokenized? Are you talking about like Bitcoin? Um, Ellen, Priscilla, what's up? Ellen, I haven't forgotten about you. I, I, I have my scripts, but I, I need to add a couple of scripts there that are written out, and I really wanna send you something nice. Two small children, no other way. That's awesome, that's awesome. Um, well, good for you, uh, Rosemary, that's awesome. So you, you start your day at 3.30 in the morning. What do you do? What's your, what's your morning uh, routine look like? I'll tell you that my morning routine is uh, alarm at 4.45, get out of bed, by 4.55, you know, get ready, which takes me like 15 minutes because I'm, I'm so sleepy and I'm in the daze. So I'm in the gym by 5.10, 5.15. And that's, you know, we have a gym downstairs or I go on a bike ride, I go for a run, or I do yoga in my, in my apartment. So I, I have different kinds of workouts during the, uh, during the week. Um, I'd like to do at least a yoga one or twice a week because I, I need to stretch out this, uh, this body. Um, and then I do a, a nice hard workout like, like I did this morning, which I'm tired, and at the gym. And then I'll do a bike ride, which is a good cardio. Um, sorry, Ellen, I, I, I apologize. Um, but I will, I will definitely get it to you, don't you worry. Um, what else? Uh, so, gym, be back in my apartment by uh, 5.45, 5.50, showering by 5.50, and then in my chair, like this chair, by um, by six o'clock in the morning sharp and to start reading at that time. So I read for half an hour and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm role playing with somebody in Chicago, Joe Kotash from Compass, awesome, awesome agent. I, I role play with him for half an hour, six or seven. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I have other role play partners, but I start those a little bit later. But after the role play, <clears throat> I, uh, I meditate for you know 10-15 minutes. 
Uh, I journal for 10, 15 minutes. Um, I love to journal. So in my journal, I have, um, I, have my, I, I have my list of gratitudes. I have uh, my girlfriend is that I am on a, in a IG live. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see what you guys have. To tokenized means essentially crowdfunding with multiple owners. The tokenized is done by ERC tokens. Oh, that's amazing. I would love to learn more about that. Um, invest in Panama. Maybe we could do an IG live and you can um, explain um, what, uh, what exactly uh, you're talking about. But I'm a huge on Bitcoin. I have a lot of money in Bitcoin. I'm a huge believer in, in, the, in the blockchain and how that's going to really change everything. I just started learning about NFTs. So that's awesome. Um, crowdfunded with multiple owners. And then tokenization is done on ERC20 tokens on in, on your Ethereum blockchain. That's great. Like you guys are so more so much more advanced than here in Los Angeles, which is crazy. Uh, Rosemary says, work out, read, go over goal list, start working. That's awesome. That that is a great day. That's that's a miracle morning, right? That that's if you do what you're doing every single day, you're gonna shoot off the day like a rocket ship, right? You're gonna have so much energy and so much, you know, passion and, and, and you're gonna just, you know, just kick ass that, that whole day. Uh, yeah, send me, an, uh, send me a direct, uh, direct message, uh, invest in Panama. Uh, what, uh, Ellen says, what helps you keep energy through the day when you wake up so early? As you can tell right now, I'm tired. Um, I feel tired. Uh, cause I had, a, I had a hard workout and like, and I, I, I and I wake up early. Uh, the most important part is do not eat anything heavy, right? Right now I'm doing a whole 30 with my girlfriend. So we are not eating any, any like no breads, um, no pastas, uh, nothing, um, nothing processed. Uh, so, so, uh, it's a very healthy diet and the diet is the most important part to have that constant energy. We do make an amazing cacao drink. So if you go to my, if you go to my YouTube page, there's a, uh, a video of how to make my, uh, make our cacao drink. It's so, so good. Um, that gives me energy. Uh, I'll do a kombucha every once in a while. Um, the, the GT, I think it's called GTS kombucha. Uh, the Synergy one, we, we, we love that. It's pretty strong, so I just have a couple sips. I don't have coffee, I think it's too much of a high. Sometimes we'll, we'll do some matcha, but for the most part, I, I try to stay off caffeine because caffeine's gonna do this. You're gonna get a good energy, then you're gonna crash, right? So you wanna have constant energy. Um, honestly, it's, it's not that hard to have energy during the day because I have so much to, you know, so much to do. Um, so I'm constantly, you know, doing something after another. There's no time to relax. Um, but what other things do I do? I, d I definitely don't eat heavy during lunchtime because uh, if you have a heavy meal during lunch, you're going to be screwed. Um, so I like to have, you know, salads. Uh, salads during the day are great for energy. Um, you don't get tired, and you'll and you'll have that you'll have that constant energy. Or you can just drink coffee. I mean, it's not what I do, but I know people that, that just drink coffee all day and that'll keep them up. But I know that you'll crash and you'll get moody and you'll get anxiety. Um, and that's what coffee does. You know, it, um, it, 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 it definitely gives you anxiety while you're on that coffee rush or even at the end when you're, when you're falling off the energy high. All right, we got my brother on. What's up, bro? He just started commercial real estate. So proud of him. Um, he changed careers uh, late in his, in his life, in his career life. So that's awesome. Good for you. I got my cousin Sesat here from, um, um, from, oh my gosh, what's the city called? I'm forgetting it. Cesar, ¿cómo se llama la ciudad de donde vives? Me estoy, oh, Armenia. Uh, my cousin uh, Cesar is, is here from Armenia, Colombia. It's the coffee district of Colombia. So if you love coffee and you want to go to Colombia, you definitely have to visit um, um, uh, the area. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting what I'm saying after, after five seconds. Um, Ellie, what's up? How are you? I haven't seen you in the last couple IGs. I miss you. Hope you're well. Um, so Ellen, I hope that answers your question about uh, keeping energy, right? I also don't work out super hard. Today I worked out super hard, so I was a little bit tired during the, uh, during the day. Um, but, you know, I just do a 
a decent workout where I'm, I'm burning, but I'm not burning too much where I'm going to be exhausted. I used to do spin classes and spin classes just, you know, they just destroy me because they're just so hard. I burn, you know, 700 to 800 calories. Um, just at that spin class and afterwards, I'm probably burning another two or 300 calories. So I'm probably burning like a thousand calories in that morning on spin class. And then I get tired the rest of the day. So I try not to do that. Um, I can do a, a hard workout at the end of the day if I want. But for, but for the most part, I, I'm starting to work out during, uh, during the mornings because um, that way I, at the evenings, around five o'clock, I stop, I stop, you know, stop work and I just want to relax, watch TV, you know, go for a walk, go in the hot tub or whatever. Uh, let's see here. My, my brother says coffee is life. <laughs> so anyway, uh, what else has been going on this week for me besides the price reduction, new listing? Um, oh, I, I am doing a new program um, to help me on, on my calls. So I have Vulcan 7, uh, which is what I was using for a long time to make my calls and to get leads for expired, canceled, for sell by owners and for rent by owners. And now I've transitioned to Mojo Dialer, so I'm I, I've, I'm moving all my Vulcan leads up to Mojo. Mojo is a little bit better because I'm able to um, to uh, to call three people at once. It's a lot more efficient. Uh, on Vulcan, you only have a single line dialer, so you're just calling one one phone at a time. And if nobody answers, you think about you're spending about thirty to forty five seconds per phone call. And most people aren't going to answer unknown numbers, right? And so you're really wasting a lot of time on those, right? So I was not getting enough contacts, enough conversations. So I moved everything now. I'm using the same Vulcan database, which is it's like the best data, the best the, the best phone numbers. But I'm moving that over to Mojo, and I'm using Mojo's three line dialer, which is great. So now I'm, I'm calling three people at once. So I'm three times more efficient with my time. So think about that. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting more conversations, more leads, more appointments, more, more listings and more sales, right? So I just made that move um, this week and I, I bought Mojo a month ago, but I was resisting the transition because it's a new system, it's a new thing and it's always hard to, uh, to transition when you're already so busy with uh, everything you have to do. Anyway. Let me know if you have any questions about real estate, guys. This is what I'm here for. So answer, ask any questions you have about real estate. This is what I'm here for. We have Ellen on, we have Ellie, we have my brother, we have my cousin Cesar from Armenia, Colombia. We have Invest in Panama. We have uh, Sylvia in motion. Rosemary had some great tips about what she does in the morning. Uh, she works out, she reads, she goes over her goal list. She starts, uh, she starts working and she has food a morning. Um, really interested in, t in talking to Invest in Panama, talking about how to buy properties through the blockchain. That's super, super exciting. Um, let's see here. Uh, Go, Go Rav, Bonnet, Realtor, what's up? Uh, what do you do when the seller wants, to, wants the buyer to use his lender? What do you do when the seller wants the buyer to use his lender? Uh, well, all buyers will will use uh, once the oh I see what you're saying. So you're talking about a seller that wants the buyer to use the seller's lender. Okay, I, I, I get it now. Um, that usually doesn't happen. Um, for the most part, if the buyer comes in with an offer and the lender is not reputable, then you ask that buyer to get a double app, right? You ask the buyer to to to, to double app, and that's easy. Um, you just say hey. I want you to get, um, you know, to apply with our lender who we trust. And if the buyer doesn't want to do that, then they're not serious, right? But that's what you do. If the seller is being unreasonable and wants the buyer to use their lender, the seller's lender, uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. Then at, at that point, it's my job as the agent to educate the, um, to educate the seller and say, hey, that's not a reasonable, that is not a reasonable request to ask the buyer to use your lender when they have their own lender. Um, um, if you're worried that their lender isn't doing the job or you don't trust the lender, that's okay. And we can get a double application with, with our lender that, 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 that we prefer. And that's, and that's, and that's reasonable. So bro, I hope, hopefully that answered your, your question. 
All right, any other questions, guys? I'm gonna get out of here and relax. Um, but I wanna answer any questions you guys have, any last minute questions. Um, I'm excited for this weekend, I'm gonna relax. I have a couple appointments. I'm gonna try to get two new listings this week and I have two listing appointments on Saturday. I'm also playing paddle tennis. I might go sailing. So I got a busy weekend, but I'm also gonna relax. I'm gonna find some time to take a nap to just sit down, watch TV, watch a movie, go, go for a bike ride, and just hang out. Uh, Ina, Ina Cambo, what's up? CT Realtor, is that CT for Connecticut? And then we have A Laris 10. Um, I'm gonna log off, guys. If you have any other questions, let me know. It is 5.30 here in Los Angeles, and I hope you guys had a great week. Hope you're hitting your goals, hope you're working hard and you're excited about your business, it's a great time to be in real estate. Wherever you are, real estate is on fire, um, especially where I'm at in Southern California. Uh, it's been on fire for the last 10 years and I'm very, very grateful to be in an industry where I can thrive. I enjoy what I do and uh, you know, just enjoy building a business that is, uh, that is very fruitful. So if uh, that is it guys, if you have no other questions, I'm gonna head out. Have a great weekend. If you, need, if you need anything, you can always send me a DM. You can always call me. You can always send me a text. I'm here to help out in any way I can. Ellie, thank you. Enjoy your weekend as well. We'll talk. Bye, guys.